into the world as kids, we come passionate about life, we come excited, we become energetic, we become naturally loving. Fear doesn't even exist, it's not even part of the equation. It's, this is, it's something that we learn about later on in life through the adults in our world and through our own experiences. But we come self-expressing very freely and very lovingly and we're very caring and we're very um, decent and, and, and this is, you know, ch children come in with the traits that we later on as adults um, try to, to, to sort of bring back to life. Um, and so at that stage, we are naturally interested and excited about certain things. And it's what Dr. Maria Montessori called our intrinsic interests. They're interests that are coming from the inside of us. They're, they're, they're natural to us and they're very unique to us, the combination of what interests us and, and what excites us and what, it's, it's, very, it's very personal. And that combo bet, you know, between sort of what interests us, what lights us up, what we're curious about, what we really care about, what we want to contribute and help with, it's, it's really a very unique um, mixture. For, for each and every single one of us. But we all have things that excite us, that make us feel good, you know, and it might be football for someone, it might be uh, a delicious meal for someone else, it might be um, a, a bit of gardening for someone else, it might be uh, building something. For, you know, we all have something that, that, that feels good to us, even if we are in a, you know, an accountant or a lawyer or a, a banker, we, there are things that, that light us up naturally. And sometimes we can get so carried away and sort of going along with what's uh, in fashion, you know, art, or photography or the or fashion or the, but actually what lights us up might be something completely different so and we know what lights us up because they're conversations that we love to have and they're things that when we come across them somehow you know on Facebook or that, they, they kind of like make us feel good so so what's naturally interesting to us is naturally uh, you know visible it, it, physically we can feel it there's like an energetic shift that happens so so what I'm encouraging here is that um, my community the community that I tend to be speaking to and working with, um, begin to discover more of what naturally lights them up, what naturally excites them, what naturally feels good to them, you know? So we're kind of moving the conversation a little bit from the sort of thinking um, to the feeling. And, and I believe that that filters straight back to um, leading with authenticity, so that when we are in these jobs and we're um, connecting with colleagues, with teams, with employees, with uh, boards of directors, with, our method of communication becomes uh, more authentic to who we really are. It's sort of um, the, the discovering our creative um, self-expression and, and, and including that in our world um, eases the rest of the communication that's happening in our world and allows us to be more us. Because you know, you tend when you meet when you tend to meet the more creatives, um, you they, 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 they feel quite good in their skin. There, as, they, as we say in French, they're, they're bien dans leur peau. You know, they, they feel good to talk to. They're easy to talk to. They're easy to connect with. There's something very natural about interactions in, in that sphere and but there's no reason why um, this other community is more um, uptight about there's no reason because we all come in to the world the same we're all natural artists as Picasso says we all are so the, the, the trick is how to remain an artist in, in our adulthood so when we remember what it is that excites us and lights us up and we allow it we bring it into our world one way or another then we um, relax the rest of our being because now the truth of us is expressing itself. So then we can, we can um, connect with others with much more ease and with much more grace and with much more fun. And, and fun, in the end, is an, is an energy and is the energy that um, allows business to be done even. People want to be around that energy. They want to transact with that energy. They want to hang out with that energy. And, you know, why are we buying certain products? And why are we, uh, buy we're buying a piece of the energy of the creator who was excited about creating whatever it was, whether it was the painting or the iPhone or, um, you know, the, the dress. It's part of that energy is what we're paying for and what we're wanting a piece of. And so when we bring that into our work life, we also add the piece that is the energetic value of, of being 
good in our skins and feeling good about ourselves um, that translates into into um, business that's transacted in a much more enjoyable way and in the end this is what makes people um, stick around in companies this is what makes um, uh, what, what increases productivity and this is what gets results is is that energetic um, you know feels good you want to stick around doesn't you're like you know let's see what else is out there so so I I wanted to begin this conversation because I know sometimes people see sort of creativity and they think oh that's not relevant to me but actually it is it's very relevant because it's relevant to every aspect of um, one's life when we are true to ourselves that filters into every area and sometimes we think we're unlocking something there but actually we're unlocking it here too and here and here so it's all it's all one uh, one big tapestry. Mm -hmm.